Jean Paul, should we have a look at that capture then? Look at the data on the 3 RS system. Book made an incredible uh, swing, so let's have a look at his data and uh, what we can observe with the 3 RS system. Uh, on the top left here, you've got the 2D view with the COPs. So if I display the data, so everything is synced. The video, 200 frames per second, the data of force and the COP trace is there. So lead foot in blue or left foot in blue, right foot in, uh, in red and, uh, and yellow combined. And here you see the traces with the distribution, shift distribution here, wait. And then that one we can have as, a, as the 3D as well? Absolutely, if you just switch there, uh, you got the 3D view. So I'll come back to the beginning of the swing. Of course, the 3D view allows you to get any angle of view, okay, which is quite cool. Zoom in, zoom out, you can see from any angle and uh, from uh, any places you want. So sometimes it helps other people to really feel in live what's happening, yes. to get the better angle of view to get the feel with the, what you, you're looking for. And once again, it's displayed. As usual, you see we've got negative torque in black, so the circle in the middle. Yes. Okay. Uh, meaning that the player is turning away from the target and the vectors are pointing in all the directions. I'm going to stop maybe at the uh, top uh, swing here, which is the peak of lateral force too. So you can observe here, everything is really tilting toward the target. Mainly the trail foot, the red number is higher than the blue number. Yes. And the total is even more tilting over there. Yes, okay. okay. And, and then we can we can visualize that and see that on the on the video as well and see the absolutely. vectors on the video. Absolutely, there's the overlay possi possibility. So onto the video we can add the charts here, uh, which is quite pretty cool because at that time we observed that effectively both are pushing that direction and yes. you still see the torque at the same time. Uh, white torque this time, uh, bright torque meaning that this, it's starting to be positive torque toward the target. Let's go to the peak of torque because that's the next view. Uh, the peak of torque, uh, we display the graph here in a different way. The peak of torque is here. We've got a kinetic sequence. We can, we can customize the way you want to display the curves. Yeah. So you ask me that, uh, is it possible to have the kinetic sequence, the lateral force, left, right total. On this graph, uh, we want to get the torque, which is the horizontal rotational force. And you wanted to link that with? The AP forces individual feet. The AP yeah. force, you see how much forces are pushing in opposite direction. Exactly, they are yeah. directly linked. So same here, uh, you've got a big torque, the peak of torque, biggest circle. Yeah. And we can combine here with here. So you can see really see that you're pushing toward that direction and that direction at the same time. Once again, the magnitude are here. So 27% lead leg, only 10% trail leg. That's maybe something we can okay. work with book. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, to increase his AP force, specifically this shape here, which is not a big peak. So it could be a bit, bit more aggressive with okay. the trail leg. And the numbers here then, so we're looking at usually threshold, looking at around 80 for that one, right? 85, 80, 90, 85, absolutely. Yeah. So definitely is not optimizing the torque. Okay. Uh, we've got the thresholds here. You see in orange area, that's the threshold. So we see that for this one, the vertical force is above the threshold. For the lateral force is just below the threshold. Actually, and yeah. here uh, it would be displayed just up top. So yeah. effectively, that's a force you should customize. Okay. Let's move to the vertical peak. So this is his main power stream. Once again, you look at the timing, you can look at the point of application, either from the 3D view or from the 2D view. So really loading toward the ball of the foot, as you know. This one here, yeah. Um, main contributor is definitely the lead leg. Okay, 166, 41, meaning 80, 20. And you see the different lengths in the yes. here. Yeah. Um, that's it. One more thing maybe is about the impulse. Yes because impulse is the quantity of motion, so it's good to get a high peak of force. But uh, impulse is interesting. So same here, there's the possibility to customize your graph and you can add the impulse markers. And then you can set the impulse on the one you want. Here it's only settled on the vertical force and onto the lateral force. But if you want to make it on any graphs, you can customize it. So here we've got the negative impulse in blue, meaning moving away from the target or lower than your weight. And the green one is the positive impulse, how much you move toward the target. And you get the numbers here, so you can play with these numbers and see how the players are increasing or decreasing the quantity of motion and so potentially the speed. And you were just saying, if we could just go back onto this one here. Of course. So we've got the different options here where if you just go through these, these options. Uh, absolutely, these are the display options. Sometimes you don't want to display all the data, like on a launch monitor, you don't want to confuse people. So maybe you just want to erase the total, the vectors, yep. or you select only the one you want to display. Uh, same for the torque, the circle disappear. We do the same for the COPs, the traces, the line of pressure. Uh, line of pressure is the one linking uh, the blue and trail foot together, so we can display or not display it. 
You can change the grid as well, no grid or get a green grid. Uh, it's quite good for when you do uh, integration. Uh, display, the force plate differently as well, no force plate. And the feet, no feet. I mean, that's simple ways, uh, percentage of body mass uh, distribution. You've got the flare foot, the stand suites, uh, the line of pressure data on the bottom here, and same on 2D view. You can display the data you want to display or not display. And we can enlarge this and send this to a different screen as well? Absolutely, you can get in widescreen. So we've got uh, two monitor stuff, but effectively you can get in a widescreen and you can play with it. So if you've got multiple screen, it's quite cool to play with these features. Error system on the PC software and the possibility as well to uh, export data, exchange data, so other error system, uh, very convenient. Um, you can, of course, get some more customized stuff. Uh, one thing I like as well is available here. We can display, we can imagine that if you've got a, a moving floor, you can get the slopes. So you can directly synchronize that and say, I should have the shot with the ball lower, higher, or my left foot higher or lower and this will automatically recalculate the slopes directly uh, onto the, the software. So you know exactly uh, how you calculate in the real three-dimension stuff. So this is coming, and as we have now the, the new um, a stage as well with Smart Move, uh, this customized stuff is quite fun, and it's uh, probably a future for the golf teaching as well. Okay, excellent. Not training only flat area. And then just talk me through the, the icons here then. Let's talk through these. Okay, we'll on the top menu, it's just the capture mode, uh, get access to the library, compare mode, which is under uh, construction, so not ready yet. The different settings, access to the different parameters, and the calibration, uh, you need to calibrate the plates, make a zero calibration every 15 minutes, just yep. to be sure the, the data are correct. So let's have a look there. You can delete the shot, save it, export it. You can comment, make any comment. You can get some markers as well. Okay. So you can address, down swing, top swing. You can custom the, customize the markers if you want to do different colors or you prefer a denomination P1 to P10. You can customize your own marker. Select the club, of course. If you've got a trackman connected, of course, you get a trackman data displayed as well. Also, in any single frame, you can select if you want to display a trackman or not. Okay. It's quite customizable. Um, and yeah, any other questions? Excellent. No, it's pretty much everything. I mean, what I uh, really like was the fact that we could customize the graphs. So we could set sure. up that kinetic sequence and then how I like that one to have the, the torque, um, the vertical linked. torque and then linked with the, uh, the AP, AP forces force, there as well. Of course. There's a standard display, but once again, you can display anything you want. You just go on the small squares over there and you select the data you want and you check or not check it, anything. So you can really customize and add or make the connections between all the different forces, torques, momentum, friction, center of pressure and impulse data. So that's a, that's a really a specific, uh, customizable uh, uh, software. Perfect.